Good morning. Uh, back in Tobago. When I say back in Tobago. Alex Leach reporting from Tobago. Ridiculous. Anyway, I am on a uh, Grafton Land Plot 2. As mentioned before, available at www.barbados dash realestate.com which is Sandcastle Caribbean Real Estate. We're clearing the land this morning. It's a good half acre of land. I think to use this as a development opportunity. Looking at the hotel next door, you can see the potential. You could either backfill and go from the top and have the most incredible view over the top of the buildings in front. Directly in front is what I refer to yesterday as a cute little restaurant. I find out today that it serves very, very high-end food. And from what I've seen, looks really very good. Um, the beach is Grafton Bay. There is another name for it. it. Escapes me. I keep in my back of my head. I keep thinking Stone Age, but that's not right. Stonehaven, maybe. Yeah, what a professional. Um, anyway, Grafton Bay. It's a good time. In my previous life as a developer, what I can tell you is that my understanding is in Trinidad. Finish costs will run you at around 100 US per square foot. You can fit the best part of 18, 19 two bedroom units here. And for those who may have seen the other video, just behind that banana tree are 13 or 16 apartments. So you can fit about 16 to 18 apartments here. Selling price of 250 to 300,000 US should bring you back profit of in or around a million US. I'm showing you the road down to the beach. That road goes nowhere, it runs into a cul-de-sac. One or two plots as you can see in front, there's the restaurant, the private home and Grafton Bay plot one, which I'll show in a further video, with the pelicans swooping into the sea behind, amazing. Um, this is half an acre, it's 500,000 US currently. Um, I, as a development site, it's excellent. As uh, uh, to build one's home, as the gentleman who I met yesterday next door has, again, superb. No one's going to build any higher than you in front. That's strictly not allowed here. So, an ideal spot, really an ideal spot. So let's not zoom into that in the background. So, an absolutely beautiful bay. A lot of Tobago has been earmarked as, if you like, uh, available for tourists because they're very strict about who can and can't buy. My understanding here is licenses are available. A little bit like St Lucia, you do, as a foreigner, have to get what I refer to as an alien land holding license for all of you aliens out there. Anyway, I shall take some more photos. I shall also take some shots down by the beach and try and combine the idea of both plots working together, which they very much could do.